This is the fig that I went to the mountains in Oman to see, as well as other plants, obviously. But I'm just coming in to do a bit of touch-up work on the, uh, on the leaves, and I just wanted to mention the greens. So the mid the mid greens, I'm working with Graham's paints at the moment, which I absolutely love, but you know, it could easily be Windsor Newton or Sennelier or Schmincke. But for these, I'm using the sap, their sap green, and this is the Graham's, and also the Hansa yellow mixed in. And then to make it uh, a little darker or to turn more olive, it's bringing in the Quinn rust, which is very similar to the Windsor Newton burnt sienna uh, or some of the um, ultramarine blue to get the darker intensity of colour as well. And then over here on the underside with these sort of fresher greens, it will be the cerulean blue and the lemon yellow. And so to get the texture on the leaf, like you've, you've got textures here on the leaf, but you have to leave obviously some areas with highlights as well with the lights catching. So it's a case of working in slowly with dry brushwork when you get to this intensity of colour. So you've got to work your way to thin veins down and to uh, get a more intense colour gradation there and just building up the texture. So it's literally just sort of dot, 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 dot. But you still got to keep your brain engaged. You can't sort of disappear off, otherwise you end up wandering about pink elephants and what colour their toenails are. So you've got, you've got to think about what you're doing. So there's a, that's it, just little bits in here. So there's a long way to go on this yet of the polish with the dry brushwork, but we'll get there. <laughs>